If you have a hard time looking at big, hairy spiders, well, you better get over that fast, because this is about to get ugly. Tarantulas. Ugh. These guys are straight up nightmare fuel. Long, hairy legs, fat, bulbous body, sticky, icky web. Oh, and deadly venom. They're found more or less around the world in tropical and subtropical regions such as in Central and South America, Africa, and Asia. The Goliath Bird Eater. Does a name get any gnarlier than that? The heaviest tarantula on Earth, they measure about a foot long. As you might guess, they do eat birds, baby chicks if any, but those arms ain't picky. Anything that is up to their size, uh, insects, small rodents, frogs, lizards, whatever they can get. Tarantulas all have one thing in common. They are masters of the ambush. All spiders spin webs, but for these arachnids, their main function isn't necessarily for them to catch prey. In fact, the silk is mostly used for their construction of their own nests, whether it's in a tree or in an underground burrow. They spin the silk webs from their abdomen, and besides using the webs to build their nests, they also use it as a home alarm system. When unsuspecting prey trip the wire, the tarantula knows supper's ready. The tarantula will hide and wait for the prey to come close and then jump it. And when it attacks, it's doing so practically blind. The tarantulas have eight eyes, but they can't see worth the beans. They just distinguish between light and dark and some motion. They're not really capable of forming uh, images and to see depth perception per se. The thing is, they don't really need great eyesight. They sense the world through those hairs covering their body. Their hairs on their bodies are highly sensitive, innervated in that they are able to detect slight movements and vibrations that may be around them in the environment, such as if a prey is scurrying along in the leaf litter, they will detect those vibrations and know that it is likely to be a potential prey. When the Goliath bird eater hunts, it busts out the fangs, each measuring an inch long. Their fangs are hollow, they're connected to venom glands, and they pump them full of venom, uh, which paralyzes the prey. Now the Goliath bird eater can't exactly chew, so what does it do? It liquefies your insides. They do so by injecting powerful venom through uh, appendages on the side of their mouth that are kind of like fangs known as chelicera. These chelicera inject powerful venom that essentially liquefies the tissues of their prey, uh, putrefying it, liquefying it into a, a slop that can then be sucked up into the mouth parts. <sniffs> Smoothie, anyone? Oh, and that's not all. Tarantulas have another strong suit, literally. Its exoskeleton is robust with rigid body armor, protecting its internal organs from damage. As it grows, it molts, ditching the old exoskeleton and growing an even larger one. Gah! Tarantulas have one more weapon in their arsenal. Sharp, deadly barbs they throw at you, like daggers. The body of the tarantula is covered with bristles that are called urticating hairs. They're little barbed hairs and they will throw them at their attacker and they cause irritation. See the bald spot on this tarantula? It's not rocking the Costanza for nothing. It's bald because it's been throwing barbs. Attack, defend, either way, in the dark of night, this is so not the monster to run into. Sweet dreams.